there is a possibility to ask the bit for the exam sake so just observe small small loopholes with that this is the possibility to ask the bit sir which of the following are valid just uh, listen first and then later you can take which of the following are valid the first one the purpose of constructor is to create an object is it valid or invalid of course answers also there okay just observe the purpose of constructor is to create an object is it valid or invalid invalid because the purpose of constructor is to initialize an object okay the second one the purpose of constructor is to initialize an object but not to create object correct or not okay this is next step. once a constructor completes then only object creation completes so this one is wrong because new operator is the responsible to create an object not the constructor that's why sir once a new operator complete automatically object is ready and the then initialization purpose constructor will be there sir next time first object will be created and the then constructor will be executed correct or not okay next time the purpose of new keyword is to create an object and the purpose of constructor is to initialize that object yes okay we covered already we can't create object for abstract class directly but indirectly we can create is it valid or invalid invalid either directly or indirectly we can't create object from abstract class are you getting it right? okay next one whenever we are creating child class object automatically parent object will be created is it valid or invalid invalid sir so whenever we are creating child class object only parent constructor will execute but parent object won't be created remember sir whenever we are creating child class object automatically abstract class constructor will be executed correct or not okay sir when the abstract class constructor will be executed sir whenever we are creating child class object right next time whenever whenever we are creating child class object automatically parent object will be created valid or invalid invalid automatically parent constructor will be executed next step whenever we are creating child class object automatically parent constructor will be executed but parent object won't be created correct or not okay this way next step either directly or indirectly we can create object for abstract class and the hence constructor concept is not applicable for abstract class valid or invalid ah uh, invalid because directly or indirectly we can't create object for abstract class but abstract class can contain constructor to perform initialization for the instance variables which are required for child class object right next uh, interface can contain constructor is it valid or invalid invalid because constructor concept not applicable for interfaces right is it clear for all of you just uh, take this bit sir last uh, summary whatever we covered in the last uh, one and a half hour or two hours right take a bit take the bit which of the following are valid which of the following are valid first one the purpose of constructor is to create an object to take clearly to create an object the purpose of constructor is to initialize an object but not to create object this that's uh, that's a uh, correct give the tick mark for that the purpose of constructor is to initialize an object but not to create object next step third one once a constructor completes then only object creation completes once a constructor completes then only object creation completes object creation completes it's also invalid next up 
first object will be created and then constructor will be executed first object will be created and then constructor will be executed correct next the purpose of new keyword is to create object and the purpose of constructor is to initialize that object the purpose of new keyword is to create object but the purpose of constructor is to initialize that object to initialize that object next up we can't create object for abstract class directly we can't create object for abstract class directly but indirectly we can create we can create object for abstract class directly but indirectly we can create in the alley whenever we are creating child class object automatically parent class object will be created internally so this one is the wrong statement whenever we are creating child class object automatically parent class object will be created internally this is also invalid next whenever we are creating child class object automatically abstract class constructor will be executed yes so it's a valid because abstract class constructor is for child object initialization only completed it one whenever we are creating child class object automatically abstract class constructor will be executed next third ninth one whenever we are creating child class object automatically parent object will be created whenever we are creating child class object automatically parent object will be created invalid next one sir next one whenever we are creating child class object automatically parent constructor will be executed automatically parent constructor will be executed but parent object won't be created yes valid next one yeah yeah tick tick clearly for every option cross mark and tick mark is there either directly or indirectly we can't create object for abstract class and hence constructor concept is not applicable for abstract class either directly or indirectly we can't create object for abstract class and hence a constructor concept not applicable for abstract class it's invalid because abstract class can contain constructor 
Next one. Interface can contain constructor. So it's a wrong because constructor concept not applicable for interfaces, right? Sir, I hope clear, right? So that's all. This is about sir loopholes related to okay loopholes related to interface abstract class constructor new operator right i hope terminology is very clear that's all sir